G'day and welcome to the Tech Math Channel. What we're going to be having a look at in this video is this is the second video looking at the direct division of polynomials. And this is a great little direct division trick rather than having to worry about the long division that typically occurs with polynomials. Okay, So if you haven't seen the first video looking at this trick, I recommend you have a look because this is a bit of an extension of that trick. So I'm going to launch into right now the, the, the next part. So we have uh, so we have this sort of problem, 2x plus 2, and we're going to be dividing this into the following, 8x cubed plus 12x squared minus 2x plus 1. Now, if you've already seen that previous video, you maybe you give this a go, but you're going to notice the difference here is we have this coefficient here, which is 2. And this has to be taken into account. So I'm going to start out, maybe you give this a go, or you pause the video, give it a go, but I'm going to start with the explanation of how you can directly divide this sort of term into this one. And this is how. So what we do is the following. We look at our first terms here, 8x cubed and 2x, and we say how many times does 2x go into 8x cubed? And it goes in, 2 goes into 8 four times, and x goes into x cubed, x squared times. Okay, so it's the first answer. What we were doing with our, our trick before, or with our, our direct divi division, is we were working out an inverse of this number here, which is minus 2, to get our second term. But I'm going to add just one little thing as well, and this is the idea of a divider. Okay, you're going to look at this number here. So before what we were doing is we are getting this number, we were multiplying it by this number, we are adding it to this number, and this is giving us our answer here. But we have an extra step because of this 2x, and it is this. What we have to do is we have to divide by this coefficient. So the answer we get, we're going to divide by 2. Okay, this is a 3x, we divide by 3. So we'll work through this, and you'll get used to this. So it's pretty simple. So minus 2 times 4x squared is 8x squared plus 12x squared, so minus 8x squared plus 12x squared, minus 8 plus 12 is positive 4, but we're going to divide our answer by 2. So positive 2x squared divided, positive 4x squared divided by 2 is positive 2x. Now, the other thing which you might remember from the other video is we don't put down x squared, we go the next power down, so it becomes positive 2x, okay? Which makes sense, okay? Because this is x squared, this is going to be x here. So, let's get the next part of our answer. So, minus 2 times 2x is minus 4x. Minus 4x minus 2x is minus 6x. So, it's not going to be minus 6x, it's going to be minus 6, and we're going to divide our answer by 2. So, minus 6 divided by 2 is minus 3. Okay, let's see now about if there's a remainder. So, minus 2 times minus 3. Minus 2 times minus 3 is 6. So, 6 plus 1 is 7. And you don't need to divide the coefficient into this. Our remainder is 7. So, that's the way we get the answer there. Okay, I reckon you might be a little bit confused by this. So, I'm going to go through couple more examples with this okay so take your time work it out and we'll save you a lot of uh, a, a lot of workings out okay especially if you've already started doing long division of polynomials because you realize that that's quite a big thing so what about we get 3x take away 4 and we're going to divide this into 9 x to the power of 4, uh, minus 6x to the power of 3, uh, plus 7x squared, minus 11x, minus 12. Okay, And if you really think you're up to it, you might actually even pause the video and try to give this one a go. There's going to be another example after this. Okay, So the way we do this again is as follows. So we look here and we say, 3x goes into 9x to the power of 4, 9 goes into 3, uh, 3 goes into 9, sorry, 3 times, and x goes into x to the power of 4, 
x to the power of 3 times. So the next answer is going to be an x squared, the one after is going to be an x. Okay, so it's going to be that power down each time. Okay, so the inverse of this negative form is positive form. And we're going to be dividing by this coefficient here, which is going to be a dividing by 3. Okay? So, let's get our second term. Positive 4 times 3x cubed is 12x cubed. 12x cubed, take away 6x cubed, is 6x cubed. Divided by 3 is 2x cubed. We're not going to have 2x cubed. We're going to go the power down, so it's going to be plus 2 x squared. Okay, let's go to the next part of our answer. Positive 4 times 2x squared is positive 8x squared. Positive 8x squared. Okay, so 8x squared plus 7x squared is 15x squared. 15x squared, so we're going to go the power down, which is 15x, divided by 3 is 15x divided by 3 is positive 5x. Okay, the next part of our answer. Positive 4 times 5x is positive 20x. Positive 20x take away 11x is 9x. 9x, we're going to go the power down, which is going to be 9. 9 divided by 3 is 3, so plus 3. And we can see if we have a remainder. 4 times 3 is 12. This 12 is going to cancel out this 12, so we don't have any remainder at all. Okay? So how did you go with that? What about one more example? Okay. So, let's do uh, an example here. We're going to do 4x minus 2, and we're going to divide this into uh, 8x to the power of 3 minus 36x to the power of 2 plus 12x plus 4. Okay, now, first off, um, you might look at this and you might give this a go before I even I'll give it a go. So you might pause it, give it a go, but I'm going to start working through it right now. So, first off, 4x goes into 8x cubed, 4 goes into 8 2 times, and x goes into x cubed, x squared times. So we're going to be starting with the squared. Okay, so we have a positive 2 here because it's the inverse of that, and our uh, coefficient is 4, so we're going to be dividing our answer by 4. Okay, so 2 times 2x squared is 4x squared. Take away 36x, 36x x squared is 32x squared. So I'm going to go the power down, which is 32x, and 32 divided by 4, 32x divided by 4 is 8x. Now, is this a positive or a negative? It's going to be a negative. Okay, just be really, really careful of that because uh, with this... You know, we've gone 2 times 2 is 4. 4 from 36 to minus 36 is um, positive 4 plus... Uh, 4 plus minus 36 is third minus 32. So we're in the minuses there. Okay, so 2 times 8x is going to be 16, negative 16x. Negative 16x plus 12x is going to be minus 4x minus 4x, so I'm going to get that power off, so minus 4 divided by 4 is minus 1. So let's see if there is a remainder here, so 2 times minus 1 is minus 2, so minus 2, 4 minus 2, so you're going to end up with a remainder of 2, so 4 minus 2 is 2. So isn't that a really, really cool method? I hope you like that. Uh, put in comments, say, I, I don't understand it all, or put in comments saying I really, really like it. Um, I'm I'm happy either way. Anyway, hopefully uh, that helped you out. See you next time.